Did you know that carousel ads have a 72% higher CTR or click-through rate than single image ads and they drive a 30 to 50% lower cost per conversion and 20 to 30% lower cost per click than domain ads? If you're looking for a way to up your Facebook advertising game and start driving more results at a lower cost, Facebook carousel ads could be just the thing that your campaign needs. So stick around because today I'm showing you how to create Facebook carousel ads with setup best practices practices. And at the end, I'm sharing carousel ideas for your business to use because they're not just for e-commerce. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency with a mission to help small businesses grow. Before we get started, please go ahead and like this video for me, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the business growing videos we put out every single week. All right, so we know that carousel ads are high performers, but let's back up a little bit and start by defining what Facebook carousel ads are first. Facebook says the carousel format lets you show two or more images and or videos in a single ad, each with its own headline, description, link, and call to action. To scroll through a carousel, people swipe on their mobile device or click the arrows on their computer screen. So essentially, it lets you use multiple creatives all in one ad, and you can use the cards to show different pictures, different videos, or the cards can make up one big image. I think part of what makes them so effective is how interactive and immersive they are for the user. So let's go over how to set up carousel ads. Head to business.facebook.com slash ads manager and hit the green create button and choose the campaign that best fits your goal. The only campaigns that you cannot run carousel ads on are engagement and video views, but all other objectives are fair game to choose from. From there, you'll wanna set up your campaign settings your budget, schedule, and target audience the way that you normally would. If you need more instructions on these sections, watch my How to Create Facebook Ads video next, and I would highly suggest that you watch my Facebook Ads targeting video too so that you can get the campaign and ad set levels of your ad campaign set up for success with really smart targeting. But for this video, I'm gonna keep moving so we can get to the carousel specific parts. For placements, the only placements not compatible with the carousel ads are Instagram Shop, Instagram Reels, IGTV, Audience Network Rewarded Videos, Audience Network In-Stream Videos, Messenger Stories, and Messenger Sponsored Messages. Also note that the Messenger Inbox placement is currently unavailable for carousel ads in the United States, Canada, France, and Australia. So pick from the remaining compatible placements as to where you want to display your carousel ads. After that, click the blue Next button to get to the ad level. On this screen, make sure you have the correct Facebook business page and or Instagram account that you want selected, and then scroll down to the ad setup. Now you can see on my screen that Facebook automatically selects dynamic formats and creatives. This isn't really something we would select as a service-based B2B company, but if you sell products or own an e-commerce store, you'll want to utilize this tool. Basically, you provide a product set, ad text, and description options, and then Facebook creates multiple versions of your ad with different formats and destinations and delivers a different version to different people based on what Facebook thinks they're most likely to respond to. If that sounds like something you could benefit from and you wanna learn how to do that, check out Morgan's video on how to set up your product catalog after this. But for this video, I'm gonna go back and turn that off, and then under format is where you'll wanna make sure carousel is selected. You can manually choose the images, videos and links, which is the route I'm gonna take in a second. But if you want to do the basic dynamic ads, you can select that option here. And just to quickly explain, this will automatically create ads from a catalog and product set of your choice. But the difference between this dynamic option and the one I showed earlier is that this option sends people who click on a product in your ad directly to that product's specific web page. It doesn't change up which pictures go with which descriptions on its own like the previous option did. It just pulls from your product catalog the way that it is. But all right, like I said, I'm going to go with the manual option and I'm going to click select image. I'm just uploading random pictures for the sake of showing you how, but after this we'll talk more about carousel ideas and what kind of pictures to actually use. You can add a headline and description and you'll need to enter the URL that you want that picture to direct traffic to. 
Depending on how many cards you want, you can click Add Media to add another one, and you can just click the editing pencil on each one to fill in the image or video, the headline, description, and URL for each one. And to be clear, when you choose the manual option like this, these are the same exact cards that will be shown to everyone in your target audience. If you want different products or different cards to be shown to different people, you need to go with one of the dynamic options. You can also select a CTA button from the list of options, or you can choose no button if you want more character space for your headline, particularly on mobile viewing. You can see how your ads look to the right in the preview window, which will update in real time as you make changes. Once you've got everything looking the way you want it, you can hit the green publish button. All right, so that's how you set up carousel ads on Facebook. Before we get into some carousel ideas for your business, here's a quick message from Sherman. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. All right, now let's go over some Facebook carousel ad ideas for your business, including some of the best practices for image selection and copywriting that I promised earlier. Carousel ads are most commonly used for e-commerce stores, so idea number one is going to be to display your products. Doing so provides a shopping experience users can swipe through all right there within Facebook. And building engagement like that is not only good for building brand consumer trust and brand recall, but it's also retargetable. Even just their swipes are retargetable, even if they don't click. But if they do actually click to your site, you can do really specific retargeting by showing people individual product carousel ads of the exact product they viewed on your website to remind them to make a purchase. All right, idea number two is to use each card to display a service. If you don't sell products, you can still use each card to describe the services you provide. Maybe you have different packages, or maybe you have one service that can be used in different ways. Use the photos, headlines, and description to make your services digestible and easy to understand at a glance to viewers. Idea number three is to paint a story from your consumer's perspective. This idea could work for any business or industry, whether you're B2B or B2C, Either way, your target audience has a problem that your product or service solves. So you can use each card to depict how a consumer's needs get met as a result of utilizing your company. You can do this literally by using the cards as like a storyboard, or you could do this by using testimonials, before and afters, or user-generated content. Idea number four is to use all the cards to make one big picture like we saw earlier. This will stand out in users' feeds when they're scrolling through, catching their attention to hopefully stop them mid scroll. You'll just want to make sure the image is obviously tied to your product or service. You don't want people to see a huge image and then be like, what is this? What is it for? If people are confused, they will not stick around to figure out what your ad is about. They'll just keep scrolling. Sometimes I see small business owners make the mistake of trying to be cute or cool with their image selections at the expense of being practical or explanatory because they see huge name brands like Nike, for example, using simplistic, minimal creative. But unfortunately, small businesses don't have the same luxury of using creatives that way because most people have never heard of your brand before. You have more legwork to do than someone like Nike. So if your ad has successfully gotten someone's attention, don't lose it by making them work to figure out what it is that you can offer them. All right, and then lastly, idea number five is to take one of your how-to blog posts and use each card as a step. For instance, a grocery store could post a how-to on how to make bread, with each card being a step with a photo that depicts the step. And the implication, of course, is that they have all the ingredients you need to make this bread. All right, you guys, that about wraps up everything I had for you today. Drop any remaining questions you still have in the comments for me and I will get back to you there. Otherwise, like this video if you found anything about it helpful, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell before you go, and I will see you in the next episode.